The following podcast discusses topics about the abridged community with various abridges from all across the net. We here on the TAC podcast do not take the podcast idea for our own and are not the first. TAC and the TAC podcast panel views and comments are not to offend anyone in the abridged community, YouTube, VO, etc. Please support the abridged community as it evolves. Thank you. Hi, I'm Napa. This is Takahata 101, and this is the TAC podcast. Today, on episode 2 of the TAC podcast. ADOS 800 returns along with three brand new abridgers to discuss four brand new topics. Overrated abridge series, things to never abridge, what's more important, voice acting, mixing, or script writing, and should there be an age limit on making a bridge series. Prepare to get beamed up by Scotty because the TAC podcast begins right now. Is four, well, not necessarily four, more like three new abridgers, but probably one that has returned with us is ADOS 800. Hi. All right, now time to move on to the three <laughs> abridgers. Is um, starting off with Captain Awesome Patch, creator of Rony Kenshin Abridge, and a member of Hyper 9. Hi, YouTube. Next up on our list is uh, Lord Quadros, creator of Metal Gear Solid, the Abridged Snakes. And finally joining us as the last member of the podcast is a uh, voice actor for G Gundam Abridged and also co-creator and a member of Team Four Star, Takahata101. What's up? All right. Uh, let's move on to first discussion of the evening, overrated abridged series. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody has an uh, opinion and thought about the topic, so to start the evening off, what are your thoughts on overrated abridged series? Um, well, overrated, I don't think there are really any that are, I don't like to say overrated because everyone's got a different type of comedy and everyone enjoys a different type of comedy. Um, but no offense to the creators, I think that they so, since the series is sort of famous, they got it a little bit easier than the other people. Still trying not to offend anyone. Nardo Bridged and uh, Avatar Bridged, I think they're hilarious. I'm subscribed to both. It's just I think they're a little bit more popular than they should be when other people are lacking... Yeah, that's basically it. Um, oh, and Idlet Studios, they suck. <laughs> Just kidding, Taka. Well, one aspect of the whole overrated thing, actually, is that I've kind of found to be true, um, a lot of series that have good moments, but the overall product isn't that good in itself, uh, but people really want to like it, there are quite a few of those. Anything you want to put in, Taka? You know, everyone has a different take on comedy. Some people will find very dry things hilarious. Some people find very snappy things hilarious. Some people will find very random things hilarious. But overall, it comes down to the overall product. I'll be with Lord Quadra. You know, you, it's comedy. It's for fun. It's for free. It's, some people take it seriously. Some people don't. Like, the guy who doesn't take it seriously, little Karibo. Um, you know, look how successful he is. Yeah, he went in with a mature sense, but honestly, he didn't. You know, he doesn't feel think he's a god or anything. You know, Comedy that's just serious business. Comedy is serious business. <laughs> but no, it's just, when it comes down to some people, just it, it's not even like if if you're good, you're good. Like some people rank on Team Dad, I will admit I have. But the thing is, they have subscribers to back up. Yeah, that show's pop more popular than Jesus in North America, but that doesn't matter. They lot that amount of people think it's funny. Then that amount of people think it's funny. You can never take that away from them. Just because I don't personally find it overly hilarious doesn't mean no one else should, right? Yeah. But the, there's a lot of people who think they are funny, who really aren't, and those are the people that irk me. Uh, you know, I go into detail who they are, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, um, moving on to another topic. Um, there's been a lot of animes as of late that has been abridged, and apparently a lot of people don't tend to look at them. The next topic is things to never abridge. Now, what are your thoughts on things that should never be abridged in the first place? I think Cowboy it, Bebop. 
<laughs> Cowboy Bebop right now, flat out. If anyone does an original series of that, I will kill them. And the people have done it, um, and I have held back killing them. <laughs> Excel well, Saga. I it's... think any series that's a, that's originally a comedy series, if it's a series that has some comedy elements in it, like Fulmina Alchemist, um, it's okay. But if it's like bo 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 it's not that it shouldn't be a bridge, it's just you can't abridge it. It's already funny. The only way to abridge it was to make it a normal series, and that's just stupid. Same with, yeah, like... like Excel Saga, for example, the only way to abridge it, you'd probably just end up making it worse. <laughs> yeah. Nobody much. would want to watch it. And, you know, uh, other series that are that have parodies of animes, like, I don't know, Lucky Star, that would be pretty kind of stupid to abridge. But, I mean, some people tried it, and maybe they can make it funnier, but you never know. It's just... And Fooly Cooly as well, because a lot of people can't find a story in it, so they try to make fun of what's already funny, and I... I think, you know, I, think I saw someone try to do a Haruhi one once, and... Yeah, I've seen that a couple times. Alright. Um, next up uh, would probably be... Um, this one was brought up by Ada, so I thought it would be a good idea to bring it into the discussion. Um, the question is, what do y'all think is more important, voice acting, scripting, or mixing for a bridge series? Um, I personally think scripting is the most important, because I personally am subscribed to plenty of series, and I like plenty of series where the mics are pretty bad, and the mixing is pretty bad, but the writing is good. Because the thing is, is writing is pretty much raw talent. You can get better at it, but if you're no good in the first place, you have very low chances of making big voice acting you can work on, mixing you can work on. But, yeah, I'd say scripting, but that's just me. I'd rather watch a series that's really funny instead of something with really good voice acting, because I saw that new One Piece of Bridge, More Better, and it wasn't really funny. I mean, the voice acting was good and all, but... It wasn't like, you know, just LOL, laughing on, laughing out loud funny. It was like, eh, it, it's pretty good, but the scripting could be a lot better. The editing was perfect, and the voice acting was, but the scripting wasn't, it, it, was, it wasn't all that great. First, first episode jitters, you know, how many, uh, how many pilots were really that great? In my opinion, the only yeah, good, good pilots there, there have ever been have been Kaiser Neko's episode one, and... And maybe Outlaw Star and Fruits Basket as well, but that was like a collection of people, so I really can't count that. Same with yeah, Four Star. The only really good pilot ever made was by Kaiser, that was just up above many other people's current works. Yeah, DBZ and, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, DBZ again. I don't count that because that's a bunch yeah. of guys who've been for a while. Pilots are really hard because one, you've got to start off. It's where everything begins. You have to make characters. You have to introduce the plot, depending on if it's a filler or not. Jokes and everything. It's just everything. It's basically you just put everything on there. But then after you have it out for a little while, you have stuff to fall back on. Not that you should. And you have running gags, and you sort of already have a feel for the characters. So if you think your first episode is less than good, just wait a couple more episodes. I say if after four episodes you really feel it's terrible then maybe I'll give you some leeway, but if it's one or two, no way. Keep doing them.